Hey guys, I have Holly, the German Shorter Pointer, here with me. Uh, pointers are very, very energetic. They have a lot of stamina, and Holly is no exception. She could go for miles and not be tired. So it's nice to have an outlet for them when you're at home and you can't get out because it's raining or you're sick um, or social distancing. So we have a treadmill here, the Dog Pacer. It's long enough for the dog to stretch out completely in their stride, uh, which is why you should be careful when you're looking to use a human treadmill with your dog. You want to make sure they can fully extend their legs. Um, otherwise, you can have some, some pretty uncomfortable movement for them. So we're going to get around there. It's actually pretty easy to teach your dog to walk on a treadmill. Go slow, be, be gentle with them, be patient, um, and make it very positive and you won't have any problems. If you force them, they will resent it and they will kind of come to dread it. But we can change that, huh? So I have Holly here on a slip lead, nothing fancy. I've got a bowl over dinner right here. Any food that your dog likes will work. Yeah, you interested? Break. We're gonna walk her up on here, lead her on carefully. There we go. Well, she's not very shy. Good job. And while she's standing up there, I'm gonna feed her and tell her she's doing a good job. I prefer my dog to be standing over sitting her down. Some dogs might think this is a place bed, and that's okay. Just tell them, oh no, that's not right. Stand up. Whoops. Like this. Good. Yes. I tell them oh, they're doing such a good job just by being out there. It might not seem like much, but it could be scary. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. Good girl. And then tell them, break. Move them off. Come back around and do it again. Yeah. Wow. I think somebody got the memo. Good job. Good job. Good. Good. Holly, break. Good girl. Now she's naturally drawn to it. She wants to get back up there because she knows it's going to get her food. Very nice. You are so clever. Good girl. She's getting paid for it a lot. So our next step, now that my dog is comfortable being up here, break. Good girl. Up, up. Good job. And it's getting her on there and then turn it on the lowest setting. And then press start. Three, two, one. It's going to just go at the very slowest pace, um, a half mile per hour. Hey, buddy. She's gonna move, she's gonna be curious, maybe a little scared, it's okay. I'm gonna use a slip lead to keep her on there, gently. Good girl. And reward her for staying up there, that's such a good job. I'm not choking my dog, I'm not, you know, holding her to it. I'm letting her make a choice, but I am kind of keeping her up there and then releasing pressure when she stays on. Good girl. It's a little weird, huh? Uh, Contrary to popular belief, it's actually a little bit scarier for it to go slow like this because it's not the dog's natural pace. So I do, once the dog kind of accepts the movement, I do go faster, um, pretty quickly. She's been on here for about 40 seconds. I'm gonna actually kick it up a notch, make it more natural. Okay, we're going one mile an hour. I'm going faster. Okay, yes! Keep her on there. Good girl! Good girl. Good job, Kay. Good. Yes. Yeah. Good girl. Don't worry about this. Yes. If your dog's not very food motivated, try to withhold their meal for that day and then use it to train. Or use a higher value food such as boiled chicken, real meat usually does the trick. Very, very good girl. Very good girl. Good job. Good job. Very nice. Very good. So she's kind of working through her initial surprise and confusion and scaredness. And I'm very proud of her. Good job. I just told her that I appreciate her. She's doing a good job. So you can see I'm not holding her on here. She can step off. If she does, I will put her back on until she's comfortable. And then when she is comfortable, I'll call it a day. You want to keep your first session very short and end on a really nice, fun note. Good girl. You're doing great. You're doing so good. Good. Good job. Very nice. Good girl. This is still not a very natural pace for dogs. Um, she should be going a little bit faster, but I'm going to go slow for her until I'm confident that she's kind of getting the idea. So now what I'm going to do, now that she's moving pretty nicely on her own, I'm going to turn it off. Chris will tell her, easy, easy.
Seems to know that's my cue, that it's about to slow down. Very good. Break. Good girl. Now I'm going to see if she wants to offer to get back up there. Go back up. Wow. So not too dramatic. Good girl. Good girl. Don't go again. Good girl. Good girl. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Good girl. Here we go. Good job. Yes. Lots of praise when it starts. Good girl. Yeah. Yes. Good job. Get your foot off there. Good job. Good girl. Again, not holding her up here. This is her choice. Good girl. Yay. Yay. Good girl. Go a little faster again. Go to 1.5. Good girl. Good girl. Here we go. And help her stay up there. Good job. There we go. Good girl. Don't worry about it. Good. Good girl. Boy, your food stinks. What is this? Good girl. Very nice. Moving a little bit more naturally now. More of her own speed. Good girl. Good job. Good. Great job. What a good girl. When she gets the picture, I can loosen this leash so it hangs, so she's not really feeling it. Good girl. Continue to pay her. Good girl. Good. You're so, so good. Good job. Good. When I feel like she's ready, I can take this off. Very good. You're naked. And continue to pay her. So now she's off leash on the treadmill. Very nice. Which is how I prefer my dogs to run on the treadmill. I don't want them to get, you know, caught up if they stop. You never know what will happen. Um, never, ever, ever leave your dog unattended on a treadmill. Good girl. This should be a one dog at a time thing. Although my cat likes to join in. Very nice. Uh, the Dog Pacer Treadmill, which is my preferred brand, um, does have a few preset exercises. So there's three modes where you can choose mode one, two, or three. And they have different variations of speed, they slow down, they speed up, uh, changes like that to give your dog a nice workout. Usually the things are about 30 minutes. Um, I would rather you not run your dog full out um, as high as it goes for 30 minutes. You do want to warm them up at first, so do some slight walking, maybe do some turns off the treadmill, stretch them with some cookies, make them bow, make them stretch, and then put them on there for a nice workout while you're doing your office work or whatever you're doing at home. Very nice. A treadmill is a really nice thing to have around the house when you have dogs, um, if, if you're injured, if you're ill, if it's rainy out, or you just have a very high energy dog like Miss Holly here. And you can't exactly run it to the ground every day. This is, this is a great option. Uh, it's no substitution for actual walks. Um, this isn't very, you know, it's not, it's not making her think very hard. She's just kind of on the treadmill walking. It feels good. It feels natural for her. But you do want to still take your dogs out for a walk where they can sniff and run and play. You should still be training your dog, you know, tricks, obedience, and all that fun stuff. And play fetch. Find some other outlet like that. But it's a nice supplement to all that stuff. Good job. And it's pretty easy to teach. Good girl, yes. Very nice. I would use caution. Holly, Holly, good girl. Use caution if you have a dog with a deep chest, like a Doberman or a, or a pointer like this or a Great Dane. And do not put them on this for at least 30 minutes after they eat. So you can avoid bloat. But beyond that, it's a really handy tool to have around. Good girl. We'll let her finish off. So she's doing so well, I'm going to actually end this on a good note. Good! Very good. And I'll feed her the rest up there. Very nice job. Very good job. She's a good dog.